What's up guys, welcome to the garage. Today we're testing the HGC201, the hovercraft. Um, 100 temp scale and uh, we'll just get it out there. It did not launch from the land and I wasn't expecting it to, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, we got it on the water and I'm not gonna talk for long. If you've not seen the review for this, check the link out above. That's the unboxing and review for this and you can see it on um, a smooth surface, which it goes actually really well on a smooth surface. On the water, I'm not sure. Um, as you can see, all the bubbles coming out the side of it. The fan, I tried it on all three settings, low, medium, and high. Um, and it, it just throws the, uh, it throws the air out of one side or the other and it just unbalances it it's also a little bit too heavy on the front end as you can see if you start accelerating too much it just pushes the front end even further down into the water so definitely room for improvement on this i even i did try pushing a little bit down on the back of the um, hovercraft but it doesn't make much difference at all you just like you just start losing loads of air um, out the side so i think the design of this has not really been thought out that much and there's a lot of these um, Chinese made products, the development side of stuff and the testing, it can be quite lacking. As seen by the uh, end product here, I'm not gonna lie, it is fun. And you know, I did spend quite a bit of time there driving it around and got some, hopefully some nice shots for you of it. But this isn't gonna be a product I recommend. On a smooth surface, it is good fun. I've got a plan for this for one more video that I'm hoping um, I can pull off and it will look really good. Um, as for this one, enjoy the rest of it. Uh, I don't recommend it. There is a link for it in the description if you do want to check it out. It'd be good as a static model or um, to make some improvements of your own. Anyway, cheers for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you. 